Hello everyone, today's demonstration will introduce you to the CyberArk Secure Browser, your entry point to the identity security platform, the industry's first identity-centric secure browser, providing enhanced security and privacy alongside a familiar and productive user experience. Our security-first strategy begins at the user's workstation login. Rather than relying on the conventional username and password, we can require two-factor authentication from the user and even utilize a QR code that taps into the biometric authentication capabilities of the CyberArk Identity mobile app. This ensures that only the correct user is attempting to log in to the corporate assets. By successfully completing biometric authentication, we establish trust in the user logged into the workstation, allowing for a direct and uninterrupted connection to the identity security platform. This removes the need for the end user to undergo another round of authentication to access the platform. In this environment, the user can easily reach business applications relevant to his role, eliminating the hassle of recalling various passwords. When the user attempts to access Salesforce to retrieve sensitive customer information, we categorized Salesforce as a web application containing critical data. Therefore, we implement secure web sessions to monitor and manage all activities the user performs during this session. The pop-up message you observe serves as a notification that every action taken by the user is recorded. This capability becomes particularly relevant when the user engages with Salesforce for daily tasks, such as accessing customer personal details. While Salesforce itself offers auditing features to track changes in activities, our focus extends beyond just tracking. Consider a scenario where there is a need to prevent specific actions from occurring, for instance, the accidental deletion of an account. The standard audit features within Salesforce can inform us after the fact, recording the deletion event. However, they don't prevent such actions from happening in the first place. Our approach aims to address this gap by providing the means to proactively block certain tasks like information deletion. Switching to the admin console, to view the session recordings, the admin must scan the QR code for biometric verification. Once authenticated, we can see an active session that began a minute ago, marked with a flag signaling suspicious activity within this session. Here, I have visibility into all the actions this user took during his session, tracking everything from the moment he searched for contacts such as Jennifer to when he navigated to the accounts section, and up to the instance he attempted an unauthorized action like deleting an account. Let's return to the end user's workstation, where he is attempting to launch CyberArk EPM to implement policies on the corporate workstations. Given EPM's significant contribution to the organization's security posture, we consider this web application as highly sensitive, requiring more robust security measures than standard monitoring and controlling. Therefore, users are instructed to access this application via the CyberArk Secure Browser for enhanced security protection. Here is the CyberArk Secure Browser a Chromium-based secure browser designed to deliver a familiar, native browsing experience to the end user. Positioned on the right side of the screen, you'll find the Productivity pane, which acts as a comprehensive gateway to both standard business applications and sessions that require privileged accounts. Upon selecting the CyberArk EPM tile within this pane, users are smoothly transitioned to the EPM Management Console. This integration ensures that the browser provides strong security measures, safeguarding the user's online activities irrespective of the device being used. Basically, no matter if the user is on a corporate computer or their own laptop, their access is always safe and watched over. This shows how well the browser keeps things secure on any device. Users can leverage the productivity pane to connect to the most privileged resources, such as the domain controller, without the need for a VPN, ensuring a fully isolated connection from their endpoint to the target device. They can perform privileged tasks directly within their most frequently used platform, the browser, while keeping the highest security standards. 
The user has visibility and access exclusively to the privileged accounts allocated to him. We utilize the remote access technology for remote connection to target devices, ensuring detailed session recording and the auditing of privileged operations. Let's move on and focus on post-authentication attacks that might happen, and here we introduce a different web application that utilizes workforce password management to seamlessly connect the end user to Dropbox, without revealing the actual password. Even though the password is secure, there's still a chance that the end user might tamper with the connection to wrongly get the credentials. However, thanks to the CyberArk Secure Browser, what the user sees as the password is just a token substituted by the browser, and not the real password. This approach adds an extra layer of security post-authentication and enhancing protection. Additionally, we have restricted access to the password manager and even prevented the ability to extract cookies from memory by disabling access to the developer tools. Cookies can facilitate access to web applications through known and straightforward attack methods, highlighting the need for their protection. To counter this, we can activate a policy that blocks the saving of cookie data on the local disk. This measure ensures a cookie-less browsing experience, effectively leaving no cookies available for attackers to exploit. Furthermore, there's the capability to merge existing corporate Chrome policies, enabling an easy shift to the secure browser. Moreover, another policy option is available for setting up domain allow lists. This can be approached in two ways, either outright blocking access to any application not authorized by the policy or notifying the users, but allowing them the choice to continue. In this scenario, when the user attempts to open ChatGPT, we permit access but simultaneously send you a push notification. This alert informs you that a user is trying to access a web application that hasn't been authorized, even though the warning was issued. If the decision is made to block access to unauthorized web applications, the policy is activated immediately. Therefore, the end user will receive a notification stating, this web page is blocked. You have the flexibility to reverse this choice since we offer the ability to enable a setting that blocks access for unapproved web applications. This modification is applied right away, meaning if the user tries to access ChatGPT again, his access will be denied. In addition, we provide more than 100 policies that can be implemented effortlessly with just one click. Included in these is the ability to restrict access to the password manager, which we showcased a short while ago. Last but not least, there's the inventory page, where you can view details of the workstations and the end users who have authenticated through the browser, including information on the versions and the status of these workstations. Thank you for attending the introduction to CyberArk Secure Browser. If you're interested in further information on how to protect your browser, please don't hesitate to get in touch.